Hey guys, Patrick here. I am in Oklahoma City in Dave Stewart's fish room. And so I wanted to, I've done a video of his fish room before, but I wanted to get another video. The first time I was doing a video of his fish room, I was doing it as kind of a research thing as I was building my fish room. I love, I love Dave's fish room and, and the stuff he's got going on. He's got a lot of plants and he sells a lot of plants. I'll leave a link of his username that he does on Aquabid in the description. And he grows his plants completely submerged, so when you buy from him, you don't have to worry about if your tanks have to adjust to being submerged because they're already submerged. And you'll see that in his you'll see that in his descriptions for his his videos, and he's always. So he's got some cool stuff breeding, cool stuff going. So there's a, a platinum pair, it looks like. Got another pair behind him. Some vowels. A huge half black pair, it looks like. Look them. There's a black, and it's like a koi. Freaking out a little bit. Nice pair of silvers. He just got back from vac vacation and so he had some blue water with a lot of fry, but they didn't make it. And that's what happens sometimes with fish keepers when we get a go on vacation. And we got some stuff in here though. Yeah, an axolotl. One thing I love about Dave's tanks too is that they so full of plants. A lot of moss growing out. He does these LED shop lights. He just has different stuff going on. A lot of a lot of growth in these. Peacock gudgeons. He's even got some, uh, some pea puffers that he said might have already bred or will be breeding for him soon. How cool is that? A pair of koi angels. Another pair of angels. Get another video of your fish room. It's like some pearl scale pinoy, maybe? maybe? Pearl scale something. Another platinum pair. And here he's got a bunch of tanks with different marbles on the bottom for some egg layers and then he'll check throughout as he just moves them from tank to tank see if they've laid eggs so that's his, that's his system he goes and he'll put a pair in here and then he'll move another pair, another pair, another pair and then he'll look and see if he has fry pretty cool You got some Odessa barbs and some of the, I believe, ruby barbs in here. This is looking cool. Some more angels and Plants. 
top over here. Pair of rams, these angels here. Some rams. Some regular rams. I wonder if they don't fry. Cherry barbs and albino cherry barbs. Long thin. Red wag platies. Some high thin. Some more angels. Black swords. If that's an Akara and that's an Epista. So, mm, I'm looking cool. Here's some Epistos. Leopard Longfin Danios and Farewell a Catfish. It's like. And some of these, I think they're Emperor Tetras. Over here, and we got some cool guppies. Some various guppies. I just did a video on the penny wart that I've grown in a pond. He's got some grown out of the tank here. Some endlers. White clowns. And some other sword tails. I'll show the catfish. It's Brian Shrimp going over here. Let's get the sink to clean out filters and do other fish related maintenance things. A lot of these plants guys he's just again he's using these LED shop lights for him. And he does have two tanks, one in here and then one in the house that he is running CO2 on. Microm cultures. They're actually on eggs right here. Very cool. Look at these angels, They're beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous angels. In fact, my my breeding black I got from Dave here in his fisher. So it's another quick video. Tank by tank. Dave's fish room. Wow. See you guys later.